Anti-aging means preventing or lessening the effects of aging. Now there's nothing out there that stops aging. Time will eventually get us all. We can live longer and stronger. And what I mean by this is not just potentially adding years to our life, but improving our health span, adding quality years where we're active and healthy with less time spent sick and dying. What should we be focusing on to do this? Are there certain supplements that help us? Or should we be directing our efforts elsewhere to live this longer, stronger life? Let's start with vitamins. Lots of vitamins have been associated with anti-aging. Vitamin D, B12, E, and C are examples of a few. And if you're deficient in any one of these, your health will benefit from correcting that deficiency. The best way to get these vitamins and all our nutrition are from whole food sources. Any supplement is merely a backup. Let's take a closer look at vitamin D. This is one that I take as a supplement and it has health benefits like improving bone density and reducing the risk of cancer. All good reasons to take vitamin D, but does it improve longevity? They did a meta-analysis to determine this, looking at 52 trials with 75,454 participants. So this was no small review. And what they found was neither vitamin D3 nor D2 was associated with a statistically significant reduction in all-cause mortality. It's worth noting they found it reduced the risk of cancer by 16%. I'm not saying taking a vitamin D supplement isn't beneficial, just that there's no evidence it'll increase our lifespan. What we want to see from a study, or better yet, a literature review or meta-analysis, is that taking a specific substance or doing an activity will, on average, add this many years to our lives. We want it to be very definitive. That's a lot to ask, but let's keep looking. Resveratrol is found in red wine, and I like red wine, so I'm a fan of it already. It's in the grapes that make the wine, as well as other berries and peanuts. It's claimed that resveratrol helps prevent neurological disorders, cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, obesity, and certain cancers, and it shows promise in a lot of these areas. The problem is, there aren't many human studies, and animal studies don't often translate to humans. So until there are more studies done with humans, there's no evidence to support it'll extend our lives. So far, no supplements can claim to extend your life, but there's one thing research has shown can extend our lives, an average of 2.9 years for men and 3.9 years for women. This includes good quality life, adding between 1.2 and 3.1 more disability-free years. I got these stats from a literature review published in the Journal of Aging Research. They looked at the studies on life expectancy related to physical activity. Just like some of the claims of longevity supplements, physical activity reduces the risk of many diseases, like hypertension, diabetes, obesity, heart disease, and numerous different cancers. The difference is that the effect on the body is so dramatic, it can be measured in years of additional life. And this positive effect can be compounded by eliminating other risk factors. For example, if you keep your body fat at a healthy level, don't smoke, follow a good diet with moderate alcohol consumption, and stay physically fit, you'll live an average of 12 years longer than if you are overweight, unfit, and a smoker. Regarding the best type of physical activity for longevity, this review favored moderate activities focusing on cardiovascular fitness. The review clearly stated there wasn't enough evidence that more intense physical activities would lead to an even longer life. I'm not sure I agree with this, as one meta-analysis included in this review looked at 80 studies with over a million people. It found that the risk for mortality was reduced the most by vigorous physical exercise over moderate intensity activities. If you aren't used to exercise, then you'll want to start with more moderate activity and gradually build up the intensity as you're ready. This review only looked at one study that included strength training, but I know from other studies I've looked at that there's a connection between longevity and having increased muscle mass. Being active, losing excess body fat, and maintaining a decent amount of muscle mass all contribute to a longer, healthier life. Which brings us to the question, how much cardio do we need to do to lose body fat and not muscle? Watch this video next to find out and keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.